Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. This is Julie with JFK Freedom. I would like to thank the Lord and give Him credit for blessing me with these words that go out to the nations if they so choose to listen, to uproot and break down, destroy and overthrow, or to build and to plant. Um, yeah, before I start, this is not a Sunday update, but and it's Friday, and Sunday's coming up already, but anyways, uh... <laughs> Even though this is coming out on Tuesday, I could still use some prayer for just the opportunities that come along to deal with stuff and are like, do y'all hear how I even said that? That's not very good, is it? Um, are throwing me off, so I haven't heard from him in years on the cell phone. I take that back. He texted me minimal because uh, something to do with, he helped with my dad's visit in the spring. My dad did come to Austria for a short time. But besides that, he doesn't text me like ever. And so he texted me and instead of just a normal greeting, it was like, hi, Julie, with a big exclamation mark. And then he said something and like, I just replied very normal back to him. And I didn't even say hi. <laughs> and then the Lord got on to me for that. So he's like, asking me to not be a you-know-what to him. And I think deep down, I kind of want to do that. I still want to do that to him because, yeah, in general, if someone ignores me and then they want to talk to me, like, in general, it's fine for me. But if I feel hurt by someone or ignored by someone that I actually want to be friends with, then it's hard for me to, like, not react. If you're praying, if you're one of the ones praying for me, if you could please just pray that I can calm down in that way and be polite to him because the Lord let me know it's super important for me to be polite to him at this time and not be like that like at all anymore. So, Because you're finally getting down to him making a final decision about everything basically is what the Lord is telling me. I still don't really have any proof, but anyways. All right, so he's talking about the blank spaces in my life and that they're slowly forming into friendships. Uh, today there is some stuff for you, Dom. There is a sort of small reference to Keith and then otherwise uh, just general hidden messages to many of you in some of these words. Slowly forming some friendly friendships with Oh, they femme fatale types at times, bro. The tough as hell so-called chicks she draws to her. And watch it for me, bro. Watch those jokers for v for being bad A's at all times, usually, bro. Except when they... Exactly, bro. Exactly how she usually operates, too, dog. But, well, willing to leave them in the dust of life behind her on the... The trail of tears, bro, is ending finally, dog, for her just because you... Yeah, bro, think seen, accepted, and loved finally for all that she behind and done with, bro. But does she? She does, bro, so-called sillily think that ain't nothing really wrong at all about it, chick. Is there, doll? My dollster of the hour. Here he winked. For wanting to be seen, heard, accepted, and loved for all that you. And, doll, did you ever want to hide your... Oh, they hiding, bro. Too much, son. Son of mine for this one, dog. Realizing... The Austri Austrians like to politically correct at all times, usually, folks, even in there. So no wonder they... Oh, it's harsh, bro. The heavy at times so-called judgment from others that falls on. Again, dear ones, absolved from my side, bro, in the cutest, sweetest. And did she, bro? She did, dog. Finally cry at the most important part of the coolest F in her view, bloke. My blokey blokes of the hour... Uh, yeah, so I watched the movie called Noel. There's nothing scary or weird about it. So if you want to check it out, it's a very cute movie. I don't even know how it came across it or how it got even slightly popular or marketed. But I think it's cool that it got out there somehow for me to see it at least. And now I, I show y'all on the screen. Very sarcastic and very dry British style humor. Um... And also poking fun at the Catholic Church a bit, but not too much. There was a guy who pressured his girlfriend basically to get a, an abortion in college. And then he spends the whole movie trying to pay for it somehow by, by working as a priest. And he finally breaks down crying at the end of the movie. And this little, she's like a ghost type of girl that keeps popping up but I think she represents the Holy Spirit and she pops up again at the end and she's like she whispers into his ear like now I leave you all is forgiven 
meaning that he would never see the vision of her again finally because he had done some work on his heart and allowed the Lord to forgive him. And I, I started crying just because I just don't feel forgiven in my life. Just like I just feel like being forgiven and that feeling of being forgiven will only come in the next lifetime for me because I know there's so much stuff that I have to keep secret from so many people. So that's why. And the Lord is kind of calling out the Austrians here and saying it's kind of an Austrian thing, but I don't really know at this point because I've been here for 10 years and I don't know if other cultures would accept who I am at all. So, And only you know your own culture. But anyway, that was the scene. That made me cry the most. Back to the message. Yeah, bro, so she doesn't even really feel, well, should I give it to you straight, my loves? For how, dear once, is a person so-called loved by me, blokes, supposed to actually feel the forgiveness of Christ operating all around her, bro, when she can't seem to get it from? And if she only opens her mouth a peep. Oh, he's peeking, bro, peeking her way to see if. Yeah, Lord, so she does actually seem to be doing a bit better, folks, by now, Lord, so maybe I... Oh, she's Princess fifi it out, dog, stuck in the god-awful to her tower of multiple dragons clutching onto her in this hour, my loves. And me, dog, I'm actually the one big bad so-called dragon she kicking and scratching at me, bro, all the long year of almost over, bro, her life. Nah, dog. So she ain't really longing anymore, too. But the scarry scars in life will, well, should I give it to you straight, bro? Scared, son. And yeah, bro, so I mean, of the womeny women who, so no wonder she, leave her, bro, and those sad to you to see it operating in her countenance of, and does she? She has, bro, been told specifically by me, bro, in those moments, too. The cell phones in life, dear ones, and the awful to you so-called phone calls, you just gotta make, bro, if you wanna. Tell them, bro, what's up, and nah, bro, I don't mean cancer, bro, just tell them you have a very aggressive type of cancer that you just found. Oh, they aggressive, bro. Gonna just shoot down your whole, not like that at all, bro, for then it would be too condemned obvious of thinking, bro, on their own A-words, sis. For this awful thinking of, and how, Lord, can we actually pull off the assassination attempt of a lifetime and make it look? Yeah, when he said the word Lord, he meant a lowercase l like Satan. It ain't no accident, bro. You getting yourself all effing targeted of. Knew it, bro, deep down. That you were stepping on some satanic toes of. Pulled off the same condemned feet herself, bro. But, well, numbers, bro. What with them being so, so-called low on her own condemned chany channel of. Didn't know it at all, bruh, that she would be called to task by just as basically clever as you, bruh, but, well, unslick to the max, bruh, wasn't she when she, hence all the, oh, he's still listening, bro, burning his anger, dragon burn at her of, gone and done with someday, bro, in a lifetime coming up near, the lifetime spans of some of you's wishing for your clues, too, of, and, bro, you really want to know when, Lay it all into my hands, bro. Seriously, dog. You really don't need to know when. Ain't so important, my loves. The dying of your life as opposed to the live it, sis. And yeah, doll. So I mean your best life now, chick. He winked. Love you all, dear ones. Even the so-called dragonesses of. Oh, we got him, bro. Listening to this Chaney channel. Bro. So no wonder she. And did she, bro? She did, actually, son. Piss off one of those lighting her candle that night at her, sis. In all the anger, rage, and hatred of stuff and fluff finally bro to this here chick of. And did she even pray out loud in the spiritual realm, folks, as she? Nah, dear ones, she simply prayed a simple as F prayer, folks, that. Again, bro, drew my eyes to her in her life like a hawk, all so that she. Protection, bro, from the dragon's. In life by, well, me, son. Me, bro. I'm the big bad dragon in life, folks, who will. Yeah, dear ones, thanks swooping down someday, folks, to crush your. Leave it, bro, all that crushing these stupid mofos in your view into the dust of. Oh, they stupid, bro. You right, you right. And has she dog? Yeah, dog, my little doggy of the hour, he winked, still humping your hump of. 
Again, bro, the porn dog, it's still a huge as hell factor of need you to clear that slick as hell mind except for the so-called sex jokes and soon, bro. Oh, she heard, bro, and cringed her cringe of the nostrils jokes, bro. It really turned her off of, but has she? She has, bro, finally been told by a real gentleman, <clears throat> me, of a god in the sky, folks, that she's all, well, should I give it to you straight, folks? Yeah, dear ones, think ugly to the max, sis. It's how she sillily viewed herself for all this time, doll, even though you didn't, bro. Didn't give his sweet to him chick in this way, dressing up for and losing that so-called weight for. Well, let's just be honest before you're very shrewd at times audience chick. And he winked. Yeah, bro. So she was also losing weight for thought he would just hop up to her space that year and pop the so-called question bubble of didn't really happen, bro. Like she expected that Christmas season to be. You will see it for me someday, bro, and someday soon, bro. Why she was all whiny, cry, and disappointed as F on my A at that time, bro. Thinking she's all got it all wrong on her own A word, and thinking she's the most fake as F prophetess of. Not dear ones, not being fake at all, sis, when she says, Yeah, dolls, so some of the beautiful Marilyn Monroe beauties in life, folks, have been abused in life too much, blokes, my blokey blokes of the hour. To the point of not seeing, but not in that way, bro. But well, future contingency plans, bro, to get your man in Christ of the hour, bro, to flare up in pride, so-called protection of, ain't no so-called about it, bro. Your manly man of the hour is, okay. Well, this is not something that I would like to share but i guess some of you ladies listening will be in the same shoes as me in the future uh the lord did reveal it to me that i'll be up for a case of rape by more than one person so that is in the cards for me and that's part of the reason i view the lord as a a mean old dragon sometimes but a good one at the same time who's gonna come down and help me out but he basically said it'd be unfair if he protected me from that and doesn't protect some of his other sisters in Christ. And some of you have already been through stuff like that. so Which may cause you some trouble in life. But if you chose to go with the Lord and stick with the Lord even after all that. Then I think it makes you a very strong person. Uh, and the Lord assures me it will help me deal with some other stuff in life once that occurs. So, Yeah, and he's very slow at sticking the sword into my belly when he wounds. So... He basically just gave a few hints, and then I had a few weeks to think about the hints, and then he slowly revealed it, that that would happen, and then, yeah, so it was not like bing, bang, boom, one day he told me, but he slowly let me start guessing, and then he finally told me what was going to happen. I don't know when that will be, though, um, but he did say I for sure cannot handle that right now, so it will not be happening right now. Okay, this is for... Anyone who's making videos out there, you're still making your videos about the governments of the world. Uh, the Lord did reveal it to me that even the elites at the very top with a lot of money have no idea. Some of them don't know how to navigate this financial crash that's coming up. So I just thought it's a one and done, simple, turn everything off, turn it back on. They have a ton of money. They get more points than the rest of us somehow. But uh, I think I got the sense more. It's like the Y2K crisis, you know, how everybody was like freaking out at that time. I got that sense as I was receiving that part, portion of the word, like they're stressed out and kind of scared and not sure how it's all going to crash and what it's going to look like and who they can trust. And all of them are basically mean to each other and scrambling for power. So if they can cause other people at their level to crash and burn through the financial crash and screw each other over in that way than they do because they play unfair with each other even all the way to the top so and you guys know in the book of revelation there's like weren't there like seven horns and then it turns into five something happens to two of those horns they play nasty with each other i think those two horns disappearing have to do with two leaders dying two very important leaders but i could of course be wrong on that but they play nasty with each other, and anyone who's done research into it, y'all know that. So, anyways, just know that, 
even though they're excited about this whole new world order thing, they also, they're like kids playing with fire sometimes. They have no clue what they're doing with everybody at times. And then if they screw it all up and there's chaos, they're like, oh, oh, that's what we meant to happen, you know. We meant for this chaos. Uh, that's, I mean, that's one way to be successful, isn't it? Just to, just to try to pretend that it was all going to be chaos anyways. But I don't think they always mean for it to all turn into chaos sometimes. I think they want smooth transitions into their new world order. But it's just not always in the cards for them. Even though Satan assures them it's all going to work out for their good. It's the same thing that God's assuring us. It's all going to work out for our good. Except... Our God isn't lying when he says that, so we can trust in those words, but it is hard to trust in him sometimes when we see bad things happen. Mm, yeah, so thank you for your prayers. The Lord did assure me some of you are absolutely confused about the messages up on the channel. As of late, there is someone specific whose name starts with D that a lot of these messages are going to, and only he really knows what it's all about. So yeah, he knows who he is. If he chooses to listen and click on the channel. And that is, that's why it's so confusing for now. But thank you for praying for us and praying that we just continue to be guided through this whole thing. Uh, awkward situation. The Lord did say this is kind of the make or break time. So I think that's why he's asking for prayer. He's asking for me to ask for prayer from y'all. And again, if you just want to like skip lunch every now and then <laughs> for me and just say it's for us, uh, I would really appreciate that. But of course, it's your choice what you do and how you go about petitioning the Lord. And I know y'all got stuff you want to ask him about too. And again, to you Americans listening, uh, I don't think this winter is the one that's going to turn crazy. So I hope you're not freaking out about any prophetic words. There will be storms. The storms keep getting worse, don't they? But I don't think this is the big old bad, big bad old winter of invasion or anything like that. I feel like the Lord does reveal secrets to his prophets and he doesn't talk to me a lot about America, but I feel like he would have placed that warning in my spirit if this was the winter that he's talking about. So Sometimes the prophets get warnings and they feel the urgency in their spirit uh, and that can feel very intense, but just because they describe it as intense, just listen very carefully to the timing that they give and very carefully to the words they say are from the, the Holy Spirit because, um, yeah, I think I should stop there. Otherwise, I might get myself in trouble. Okay, I hope you all get kind of what I'm saying. Remember, blessed and holy is the person who takes part in the first resurrection over these, the second death has no power or authority, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him a thousand years. God bless.